In this video, we're going to look at the day's sales uncollected, and they want us to do it for 2020. So what we'll do here is write out the formula. So I have days sales uncollected. And our formula is taking our accounts receivable. So in this case, we don't need to do the average. Just take your accounts receivable for the year. Divide that by net sales. And then we're going to convert this into days. So that's why I do 365, assuming there's 365 days in the year. Okay, for some reason, my highlighter isn't turning on. There we go. I just want to highlight all that for you. Okay, so now let's just go and find the information. So for 2020, my accounts receivable is the 598 and my net sales are 7280. So let's just put those into the formula. So 598 divided by 7280, and then multiply that by 365. That means my customers pay me on an average of every 29.98 days. And that actually sounds great, especially if you give out terms for 30 days. So that's not alarming, but if I compare that to industry, so if I do days, sales uncollected, I'll move my 29.98 days here. So remember, we want to convert this to cash as quickly as possible. Let's see how industry is doing. So industry takes 21 days. So let's go and put that one in here. So they're actually quicker than us. So that's unfavorable. Okay. So the thing is, is if this one is unfavorable, then this one will be unfavorable. So both of these go the same way. So for me, I like day sales uncollected because it's easier for me to see things in days. It's taking my customers on average about 30 days to pay me. It's taking the industry on average 21 days. So then maybe we want to start looking into our collection cycle to see if or how we can speed that up to get, to get our cash quicker.